do. Move your highway anyway, so we are going to be going over to um, the side of BNL's track pick. So BNL do have quite a lot of top spots here. There's, yeah, there is a tiny little bit of delay. It's only three seconds, so it's not something too noticeable. Maybe we can try and see if we can get that changed later on, but it shouldn't be too bad. But we already see quite a lot of um, NDC members get up here. Fox already did take into first, and straight away we do see the two main um, star players in this room take that top. And that was actually a little bit of a wheelie bump there onto May, but we do have a top two for Jeff and Fox, but 3-4 right now for BNL, so BNL are in good spots for this track, especially. And we are going to be seeing that uh, Apollo there is the most visible bagger. I think he may have got back a bit further than Shamron has so far, so he's top in a... Top four right now. Fox did actually get hit out of first place and combo redded by May, so that was well played by May, and they actually get the blue shell straight away after that, so they should be set pretty much for this entire race. It's really hard to catch up on this track. He's actually going to lose blue, he tried to hop, dodge it, but wasn't able to do that, so... I mean, you really can't catch up on this track. All of this section is boost panel, so shrooms are useless. We need to see a shot come out from Shamron, because this breakaway already for these top spots is getting insane. And we can see from Fox's perspective, pretty much all of Nordic are back here. Kion is up there in third, trying to challenge, but it's pretty much him against three people right now, so they do really need a shock to try and swim this race around. We are actually going to be seeing Negans go down a little bit, but uh, still in fourth place as the shot does come in. I believe Fox has just dodged there, and we see... Was that Thomas that may have just spammed Omega into the set, but uh, right. he definitely didn't dodge as much as uh, Fox has done, and with his golden, he will be getting that chain off into a May did get triple reds, though, and he did just hit Kion out. He's going to be trying to throw it forward to hit Fox as well, but that shot was very good. Barney actually did get into first. He actually red shells the bomb car, and it actually explodes on him, so that's actually pretty unlucky from May. They can't really predict that. He does get a Mega at the end, but I don't think we're going to be seeing a second shock. And this should be a 1-3 for the side of Nordic. Yeah, That red shell seeing... was so weird. Yeah, we've just seen quite a strong race for Nordic there, so long as they could get the uh, spots below that. But we'll very quickly have to wait for the scores as we uh, have me try to get the... Uh, Little score calculator working in time. Is it possible to get made to lose stream by three seconds? I'll quickly ask him. Can you delay three extra seconds? Yeah, we can't do. Well, this is obviously just a test. We want to see what your point of view is like. We can't change it now just because it's very hard to switch back to single but I guess the best thing to do we'll probably have like a straw poll or something and then we'll link that at the end just to let us know what you did prefer and then obviously we can go back to the more popular option. May said he's going to try and add a little bit of delay to his um, stream so hopefully we can get them lined up but 134 um, 810 for the side of the runners for Nordic so pretty good race for them they actually were able to get that shock like I was speaking about yeah I actually agree with what Edison said we don't always have to like switch and stuff there's actually you can watch both at the same time but anyway that was a very good race for Nordic they managed to actually break all those top spots he restarted his stream so hopefully his delay ah, that, um, that's not actually May you're watching then on that perspective we'll have to no, get May back double up fox. double fox for a second or two let me see if I can get May back in time for the race but uh, oh hello Stanky, May. apparently you're still getting things wrong and you're using a program I'm getting things wrong. People are saying 35 to 38. Is your program coded is... wrong or are they done? Uh, well, if it's coded wrong, I can blame Mario Kart 8 Deluxe player. So, yes. I don't know. Yeah, is this May's stream now? Uh, that is actually Fox? May's stream. Okay. Let's see if and May is in front of Fox. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think we're going to have to deal with what we've got. We might restart Fox's stream. It might be Fox that's causing the issue here, but uh, regardless... Okay, we got free... For... Alright, you were right. Okay. We were getting debated by the chat. We were getting memed, but uh, we do right, see so... May with the triple greens. Fox slightly further behind. Not got an item yet. This is obviously a track where shrooms can help with that shortcut, but uh, does have to get the shrooms quite quick. Star will also help if they Star's can very get... Good for him. Maybe dodge lap to have an early dodge or something if they need yeah. to but uh, we do see May also pull a star 
I'm not too 100% sure on the bagger's position. You actually see both going back. But if Shamron is comfortable, uh, confident, sorry, in getting another shock, they could use a possible lap too early shock. I think we might actually see Fox hold this one for just a bit. No, he's actually going to go for the chain and hope for another star. Does pull the golden mushroom in six, so he should be able to take the star up to fifth. He actually did hit Nedgens there on his screen. We do see an actual dodge coming out, so possible, well, not possible, but definitely a BNL shot coming out. So May's going to pretty much get into this top pack. We see Sora has a huge breakaway in first, so he's pretty much set. I don't think we're going to be seeing the second shot, which will hurt Sora that much. If we do, it'll be very late into lap three. Um, but top two is pretty comfortable for the side of BNL back here. We do have two shrooms. Or Fox in fifth. He might be able to try and get past some of the players up there. Sharon's trying to throw some reds, but we do have top three. Jeff's actually in third place right now. And I think Sora and May are pretty much going to get an uncontested top two. I don't think... Oh no, it's because we're a bit behind. Fox is actually able to catch up to May. Going to get redded for it though, so that's top three break for BNL. Yeah, top three is going to be very good for them, so long as they can hold it. We've got to watch out for these little chain chomps, but... Uh... At this point, top three looks quite comfortable. And Fox does actually pull these shrooms. Is this going to be able to get past May there? He but, should uh... be able to pull third from this. I don't think he's going to pass Jeff, no matter how good he plays it, unless he gets another shroom. Triple Green's possible snipe coming out. We actually do see May does have a TC. I think that should take him to the line, even though it's yeah, a little that's, bit behind. Yeah, that's for the win. Oh, unfortunate for him Oh, there. he actually does get power. He still gets the um, third place, the uh, fourth place. Sorry, I think for Fox did get third at the end. But I think that's going to be so. So I pretty much had an uncontested run that race. You can see on the minimap he had pretty much a three, four second break. I'm not too sure if he got like a golden straight away and just instantly shroomed up, or if he got triple shrooms and took cut both laps. But he had pretty much first in the bag, and we didn't really see anything from Nordic except for Fox being up here. We had Fox pretty much had to constantly battle against Jeff and May, and I'm guessing Shock just wasn't able to get pulled from Sharon. So they're actually going to get a top two for that. Sharon actually did pass May at the line, I didn't actually see that, but 3-4 for the side of Nordic, but still quite a lot of bomb spots with that 7-8-9 as well. That is going to be leaving the score at 76-70 uh, to 70 actually, so uh, Ben Luck's up. We'll very, very quickly see if we can reset Fox's stream, because he's ever so slightly behind, so you're going to be seeing double May for a moment. Double Mays. Double May. Is it is males double May in the words of V3? <laughs> is, yeah, males been, is males double May? Uh, well, that's that's definitely well, go, double Samuel. May still. Jeff's scoring well, so we're going to be seeing a very good war for Vienna by Samuel's dank logic. 24 after two, Fox on 20 after two, so both of the um big cheers 600 cheers 600 aces gay. Yes. Somebody has definitely tried pretending to cheer for a moment, but it's not worked. You have to spend your IRL money to do that. Yeah, IRL money is not going to be saving you there, but uh, I think we're going to be seeing a bit less delay. There we go. Bowser's Castle getting chosen. Probably going to be benefiting Benelux, maybe. Yeah, it was a Benelux pick. I think it's smart. Um, usually teams do decide to go for this for top free but what BNL can do if they both swerve left in the top two positions they can pretty much deny Fox from getting a box we're actually gonna see them do it so like we saw we saw Jeff go to the left he realized Fox was there and he wasn't able to get the box because of that but he, like, uh, he... Jeff actually oh no Jeff's now up somebody did seem to get hit right after the jump or at least slow owned so right. May's got this bomb might but be able to in back top spam three, right? in our top two sorry I think this top two should be pretty much um, set. It's pretty hard to kind of, I guess, get past people in these top spots, especially when Thomas has these triple greens in second. Fox is going to have to play super safe and go wide up these stairs and lose time. And that actually swerved green hit him, and he was actually May able to pass that TC over to him. He tries to pass it to the BNL member, instantly gets passed back, so Fox is going to get sent back all the way to this bottom pack. Do see May holding on to a blue for quite a while, and um, Kyan did get hit and then wasn't able to red, so we do have. I think once again this is going to be a top three. Yeah, we do have Sora and Thomas. We see quite a lot of front runners from Sora so far, last race and for this whole race so far. Fox does have a star that we'll have to see if he decides to hold it. He's going to spam it straight away and it gets Bill in 10th. So Shock most likely either in play or is going to be in the next few boxes. It's not in play right now because both of the baggers did just jump off. So we're not going to see it 
for at least 20 seconds, but definitely going to be coming up with Fox getting this bill. I think May want to try blocking the... Oh, no, he isn't actually going to be opting to block the Ultra for that side, but uh, we'll see if that's fatal or not as this power does come in. Not going to be targeting Benelux, so maybe their power actually, but... Uh... Yeah, most likely. Fox does still have this bullet bill, and he looks like he's going to be holding it pretty much for the majority of the lap. And probably most likely halfway into the lap. I wouldn't be surprised to see him use it at the half pipes coming into the car, so it'll lap free. Once again, we should. Thomas has been up there all race. Sorry, actually did get hit out of first earlier on, but May's going to be able to take second for that. And we do actually see quite a lot of mid spots from the side of Nordic. We have a 4 5 6 right now with Bill and 6. That's very good for them. It just depends if Sharon has a uh, shock right now. This is pretty much a free first for Fox. We do see Fox go for glitch quite a lot of the time. I think we're on mirror though, so this is the right side. Is he going to risk it in sixth place? Doesn't look like it. Bill in fifth though, this pretty much takes you nearly two first if he uses it, and I think he should. He gets a straight dodge, that's going to be a Nordic shock. Uh, they went for the TS on Thomas as well, so this should be free first in the bag. They did get the TS, and that's going to be it for Fox. I think we're going to be seeing our streamers get top two, as the second place stream was pulled by Mace, so we should be able to hold his second as well, but two free right now for the side of BNL. Yeah, 2-3. Not actually sure where Sora managed to end up. Maybe he I got... think it might have been a 1-4-5 for Nordic, though. I did see Sharon and a cane there right at the end. Yeah, we'll I think uh, Sora dropped down quite unfortunately, and uh, I don't think Jeff was able to break into the higher spots. So we did see Fox and May get top two, but uh, it looks like Nordic got the better of the mid-pack. Fox has first save perfect build. There you go. Samuel's predicting the future. Dude, that was a uh, really good for Fox. He managed to pretty much avoid everything. He got that bill. I think it was early lap two, and he held it all the way until the spiral. So, well played for Fox to be able to actually hold that all the way from. I think he got it in tenth, and he held it all the way up to fifth. So, good play by him. Definitely was able to capitalize on it. We've seen Shamron get another shock for this NDC lineup and that helped them a lot because I think that whole race we pretty much still saw Sora was running with Thomas and then Sora got knocked out and then we pretty much saw May up there with Thomas for the whole race but Shamron once again pulling out that shock and the NDC capitalized from it and they actually do get the winning race off of that. Yeah, 108 gonna... to 111. <laughs> yep with uh, Nordic up three going into the fourth race I clearly forgot it was Mirror for a second because apparently Why? I said he was blocking the Ultra on the right side, which oh, was the right wrong like, side. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I think Fox is going to go for Glitch here because I remember. I saw, you see, you see the. Oh, I forgot the Jeff was the host because Jeff doesn't do CT loads, I don't think. Or he no, doesn't he, load he through likes CTs. Mirror. He's he's a fan of Mirror, clearly, because he's, he's got a Mirror GP, but. Uh, BC64 is going to be coming in again. Dreamers in top two spots. Yeah, this track does have a lot of bagging skill as well, so not sure if we're going to mm -hmm. see Apollo or Shamron win it overall, but uh, right. definitely going to show whether or not uh, the baggers have practiced their strats properly. And I think along with tracks like BC3 and BC3, this is one of the more skill bagging um, tracks like you said you obviously have to make that respawn which isn't too hard we do see both of them coming up here the more i guess it's not that hard but the more technical bagging strat is going to be the stairs as they come up to the 30 second box there jeff able to get that side red onto fox though so that's going to be fox's first straight out the door and we're going to be seeing top two for jeff and may for the meantime and we are going to be seeing in fox's side that uh, sora gets knocked down he yet uh to have a box. Looks like he's actually going to be bagging. Okay. Maybe trying to get a star or something. Nope, going to be a power oh, zone. Not probably just going to be using this on the straight unless if he holds it, then we're probably going to be having some dodges up here that Nordic want to try and hold. Slams himself into the wall, so possibly That is a drop, drop power, power yeah. In. It's going to be a drop power probably, but uh, very Okay, he's weird. still holding it, so maybe he was just trying to like save the power and avoid so I'm not too sure. Anyway, on the side of May, um, we do have him in Quite a top spot, fifth place, Barney and Nedgen's in front of him. I'm not too sure what we're doing in terms of first. Sharon is in second. Uh, not too sure who is in first. And we do have Foxes holding this power for an extended period of time. So I'm questioning if they have something like the bill in front of them. He actually does lose it to the bomb there. But Triple Reds, whilst in a mega coming out for May, 
gonna try and hit Barney on the straightaway, and Barney actually does use a Mega, that's maybe why they were holding Pal. So um, he's gonna be trying to slag, I don't think he's actually gonna get him, so he may should be able to red Barney for that. Quite a lot of bumping coming in, but it doesn't look like anything actually connects in the end. Fox getting a 10th place box, Pal on the side of uh, BNL now, and Star for Fox, so... This lap 3 is going to be interesting, it's a very spread out pack I think for lap 3 RBC. Yeah, I think Jeff's got quite the break if he's still able to hold on. So there we go, that's a pal that doesn't really hurt any of the Benelux spots. And they currently have a 1, 3, 4, 6, very good race if they can hold these spots. We see Barney getting overtaken there by May. These, uh, right, oh no, oh, immediately past the team. He should have had a slag very well and get his uh, teammates a lead though. He's going to be stopping on the bridge. He, he, gets, the he, gets the, he passes the TTs to Sharon and bumps him up with the green in the meantime. The Dodge is all going to be in play for Nordic right now. We're not going to be seeing a shock as we see May does get Mega. Going to go over to Fox for the end of this race. And I don't think he's going to be getting too much to save them. And this is going to look like a very good race for BNL. Another mega used by Barney, but I think it's too late. Blue Shell was being held that whole race for Jeff, I think. I and mean, like we said, back and forth war. Yeah, it's a back and forth war. This definitely going to Benelux. Not sure how much by. We know Sharon got last in the runners. May got uh, ninth, but... I think it was a very good race for... I don't think it was like ex like extremely good for BNL, but like you said, Jeff was able to hold first for... I think that whole race, if you do get blue and you're, you're holding blue in shock, there's literally nothing that Jeff can do to ah, lose his four, first. Top 4, 9, so, 11. Top 4, and that's going to be a lot more than I expected. I thought um, one of the Nordic members would be able to actually stop that. I thought it was going to be a top 2, 4 or something, but top 4 actually coming out for BNL. So they're able to hold the shock, able to hold the blue. Uh, made it very well to avoid Barney's Mega and then... Consequently, he managed to pretty much slag the whole team off with those greens. So yeah, very good race coming out for BNL. We're going to be seeing the top two be Jeff and Fox for the GP. So very good predictions once again from Samuel. Jeff getting his 42, and the team have played very well with that. And that's actually going to be a very good race for BNL more than we expected. That's going to put them at a plus 22 point lead going into the second GP. So what was that? How much were in DC? Winning by that it was three, wasn't it? Three, so plus yeah. 25. Plus 25 race, God. Very good for him. We've definitely had a uh, very good race there. It's down to whether or not they can keep the momentum from that kind of race. You know, have Nordic had a, a right. bit of a moment in there? I'm not sure. I think Nordic's probably not the kind of team to tilt. We have seen them fight back against Canada, but uh, exactly. they have got to do this fight back. They can't right. let Benelux get any more of those kind of good races and pull away. Yeah, you don't want to see any more of that. And even though that was the end of the GP, so they're not going to be top four in room, um, they actually do still have good spots in room just because they are hosting the war. So Jeff's going to start in first no matter what. They actually do have a 1 3 4, so possible uh, something like a TF maybe coming out. They're going to actually go for the GV2 though, so pretty much putting all faith in their top front runners. We don't really see too many shots come out on GV2. And we're going to be seeing pretty much a snares track, which is all the fun in the world. So MC3 coming out for Nordic, going for more of that um, golden slash dodge track, and BNL are trying to keep it short, trying to just pretty much keep those top spots and just hold them, because it's very hard to actually kind of overtake people on GV2 without getting hit by something. You need like a golden and then just spam it against first, so we're going to be going over to MC3 anyway, so we're not going to be seeing any GV2. Shock is very, very good on this track. I think it's actually one of the best, one of the best tracks actually for Shock, just because you can get such a good chain on loads of the sets in this first set, second set, third set's quite a good chain. So we'll have to see uh, what happens in terms of the Shock, but Jeff's going to be looking to try and hold his first. Instantly gets sniped at first as soon as I say that way, Fox, so those triple greens coming in handy, and he should be able to use this third one to possibly backspam BNL member and hold his first. Yeah, we're going to be seeing that uh, May trying to use these triple reds to uh, hit someone. Looks like he gets mega in the process, though. Yeah, he's so... going to be at the back quite a while. I think he's going to get shrooms here. But um, we did actually see on Fox's side able to hit the back spam. Kion did shroom up, and now they have a pretty healthy top two for them. We actually do see three and four are quite uh, close. Rosalina obviously being Sora. Top three right now with Sharon actually in third. And 
May is holding this golden knight, possibly going to be using it right here to go for the sand, and yet that's what we're going to see. Popular golden strategy takes you all the way through this next bit of sand as well, so he should be able to catch up. But top three break coming in for the side of Nordic, so we do need to see a BNL shock here, or this is going to be a very good race for him. It's definitely the potential for it to happen, though, as we do see May getting this fifth place box. It's going to be a single red. I'm not sure he can even back spam that, so. Target power might coming be... in for BNL. Target power Doesn't does come do in. Too much. Oh, actually, he actually hits Sharon really badly. Shock is going to be coming in, and that is a very good shock. I'm not actually sure who dodged it because it was a little bit of delay. I actually thought May dodged, but May able to get those triple streams. Is it actually going to take him to first place? It looks like that last one should be able to take him to first. And he is going to get first place for the Team Fox, losing out on his first, able to get second. But Looks like quite Jeff and Thomas. Yeah, Jeff, Thomas and Sora all coming up. So, looks yeah, like Ben Lux recovered a lot from that. I'm not too sure. I saw quite a lot of Nordic members as well. So, the mid-pack's very, very close uh, before these top three spots. So we'll have to see. But, depending on who goes to those mid-spots, I'm just going to quickly look at the stream again to see if I can kind of see what happened but i think we saw a kane fox and thomas all pretty much finish at the same time so we'll have to see so results do come up and it is going to be the one three five for the side of bnl so very good um i'm guessing it was their shock they did shock may into boxes he was able to get the triple shrooms in fifth which you've got to argue is actually quite lucky if he got something like a, a single shroom he wouldn't have able to actually get that first so Triple Shroom's definitely in the favour of May, able to help him with that first, but good job on Apollo for actually getting that shot, because that would have pretty much been a top three in the bag for Nordic, so once again, able to bounce back and able to take another race win, and if we keep seeing these race wins, like you said, in BNL's favour, um, Nordic are going to start getting more worried and worried, depending on how it goes, but we'll have to have a look. Nordic obviously can still bounce back, it's still within... 31 points and we're only halfway through the war so anything can happen we just have to hope that nordic start getting these good races or it's going to be looking more and more unlikely for them to get the win but six races there 30 points you only have to win by pretty much like five average a race so definitely not out of it but you know have to be happy with what they've accumulated so far yeah ben luck's in quite the strong position with a plus 31 but uh nordic could Recover that in one race. Wario's Goldmine coming in from uh, Benelux, though, so definitely a race that can favour their higher spots. We might try seeing uh, May and Jeff try to break away, maybe. Quite a lot of right. experienced runners from Benelux, so they could all, if they can get Fox out, get uh, quite a strong race here. Yeah, it really depends. We actually see... Um... Fox did get bumped back a little bit, but Kyan was agile. Uh, I think he might have got a Shroom, I might have drafted, but he's straight into that first spot. Um, triple Greens, top three, and he calls the Greens out, so he should be able to do what made it. He slags Sora. Is he going to be able to get in Legends with the third Green? He doesn't actually back it yet, goes for the Swerve back. Able to hit someone, I'm not too sure if it was his teammate or maybe one of the bottom members. It actually was May, as we saw on the screen there, in ninth place. Ninth place star coming out, and he should be holding this one for quite a while. I don't really see any need to use a star so early. I actually decides to chain it straight away, so it does get the triple shrooms. Pal does come in, so I guess it was good that he did chain it, but top three still Kion, Akane, and Fox for the side of Nordic, and they're going to be looking to try and hold this one for the entire race. Yeah, we do see that uh, the Nordic members have a lot of the top spots. That blue Social is coming in. in. Shock is very damaging on this track, though. So oh, if, no, that TS one. if uh, Benelux do pull the shock, we could see Fox and or a Kane uh, take quite right. a big fall. So exactly. I mean, the fact that we've already seen that blue shell, so the top three has been hurt. We actually did see. I'm not too sure what happened to a Kane there. Um, I'm not too sure if he was trolled or if he hit something on the track. It kind of just, like jolted a little bit, but oh, he's actually right next to him, so it might have just been. A little bit of an overtake, but I think Shock does come in. Bill Dodge actually does star May, so that was Thomas star and May, so a little bit of a miscommunication there. Thomas did get the dodge, and that's pretty much going to give him first. May is holding pal, so we might see a target pal come on to these Nordic members. I don't think there's anywhere to really target pal. I mean, actually, they both dodge in the air, so I'm not too sure on what that one was for. May's going to be all the way back here and hoping for something like a golden, because we're not going to be seeing another Shock. Triple Shrooms. 
This 2-3 is going to be set for the side of Nordic, so they're going to be hoping for some more mid spots. We do have 6th place for May. He's going to be streaming up. We actually do see Barney up there at 4th, I think. That could have been a good race for Nordic. I think it was a 2-3-4. Yeah, it could have been a very good race for... Well, well, I think it would be more of a neutral race if 1-5-6 is Ben Lux, but it's down to what the other spots were yeah, behind Yeah, it depends May. like 7 through 10 really does change a little bit. We'll just have to see. I think the shock is definitely in favour of BNL. We do see Apollo is more of an experienced bagger, so this has been helping him a lot. And we are going to be seeing the 2 3 4, like I said. They actually do get sick as well. Sharon able to take that at the end. So I think that is going to be a race win for the side of Nordic, a plus 7. So that's what they start needing. Like I said, they need a plus 5 average per race to get back into it. A plus 7 is a very good way to start that. So they are going to be minimizing their lead a lot from that race and we're seeing fox once again is putting up the points 40 points last gp 22 this gp already so was that the second race of the gp that was the second race of the gp so now we're halfway i was being dummy i thought last race was halfway now we're at the halfway point and uh the gap is closer closer sorry than i thought so nordic definitely can bounce back into this one I'm going to be tempted to see if they go for something that Fox can try and just knock Thomas out of first and then run. We'll have to see what track picks we're going for. KC. KC is a very good track because if you do get that green shell in second straight away, then you can just take that Shroomba and pretty much instantly get into first. And there's nothing Thomas can really do about it except for trying to backspam him on it. GV coming out. So two very neutral um, front running base tracks, but at the same time, there's two pretty much very OP cuts. The golden strat on Casey does save a lot of time, but we are going to be going over to Grumble Volcano, which we're probably going to be seeing quite a few rock shortcuts slash lava respawns come out from both of our streamers during this race. Yeah, quite a lot of these players are from the higher division, so we will be seeing things like the rock and the respawn come through quite a lot more than we may in some of the uh, divisions. Yeah, especially the rock. So, uh... We have well, seen Fox get the first. Draft and strained first. May's got to watch out for a cane here, and I think Negan's actually took the fall there, but he may have had a yeah. star. We did see a star behind them. I just mean that TC getting passed around. I mean, everyone's swerving from two through six because they don't want it, and that pretty much just gave Fox a good lead. Obviously, he's not going to hold it because, like we see, we are going to be seeing respawns. I think he might still be in first night. He's going to be put in second. The second place he's going to get a stream, he does get the stream from the third place box, so I'll have to keep an eye on Fox to see if he can hold this one to the cut. Another TC coming in um, for May, he actually pulled this one this time, he's going to try and slow down to give it over to Nordic. Doesn't look like, oh he actually does get it to Kyan right at the end, so Kyan, I think, I think he might have used a star actually, yeah, Kyan did use a star, so he was forced to use a dodge from that. Fox actually did get bumped back down to uh, fourth place, so top three for BNL, but Fox should be able to break that with this room. Yeah, so long as there's no random target shot. No, no target shot going to be coming in for lap two. I mean, Sora's going to hold us. Sora's uh, going to hold first no matter what, Jeff. Oh, so how'd you get the back? That's the second that. back fib Jeff has got on Fox for lap two, and yeah. that is going to put him back down into the lower spots. Obviously, though, the uh, spots that Ben Lux have, if there is a shock to dodge people in the cut, their spots aren't secure. Right. These spots are so. This is a pretty close pack for the end of GV. We actually did see May take quite a weird rock. He was forced to use both streams, but at least he actually did make it and was able to hold his spot because that would have been bad otherwise. He's holding his blue shell, so we're not going to be seeing May take that cut just because we do see Nordic in first currently. Shock does come out. I'm not too sure who might have dodged that one. We actually did. I think first place took it and they dodged, and then second place got TS. So if that was Jeff that took it in first, then that's pretty much set for. BNL. We do have a Kane in third. He does get TC. That is Jeff who took the cut, so it's going to be top two in the bag for the side. I think May might have actually. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, May was third and then Fox got fourth, so top three. We're getting confused. I think May's on the right and Fox is on the left at times, but top three. Another shock once again for BNL. So we did see BNL get shocked last race, even though they weren't able to win the race. We see. A better shock um, come out for the side of B and they're able to capitalize a lot more with it. They actually were able to get that um, first place dodge and the second place TS, which is pretty much perfect because that TS spot, if you don't make the lava respawn and you get TS, you're losing upwards of around five seconds on that. So whoever that was did 
unfortunately experienced the bad end of that, and that's going to be a very good race for the side of VNL, and it's just going to extend their lead once again to what they were looking at previously, which is that 30-40 point threshold. We're actually going to go to a plus, so that plus 43 already. Yeah. So, yeah, another pretty punishing race for the side of Nordic, and we are at five races left, I think. So. They are going to be looking to try and do something sometime soon because if you let this go a lot further it's going to be bad because we're looking at more like a nine point differential every race other than a five so I think we have to give props to players like Apollo and May even though they aren't like stand out oh my god look at their points obviously you're not going to be seeing a bagger get points but we've seen so many shocks come out for BNL some have been useful some have been but they've all been useful some have been a lot more impactful than others though I mean, just holding the shock on tracks like RBC, where they're able to get that top four, was so useful for them. And then we have to commend players like May. He's got so many good slagging items this war, and he's done amazing things. Uh, I think the best play he's done so far, obviously, was passing that TC and pretty much green and free members of Nordic. So, got to give props to those players who aren't scoring as much points, but are definitely being key parts of the team. And this track pick has got to help BNL a lot because top three on Yoshi Falls is very hard to break and we're going to be seeing all on Fox to try and uh, get out there. He actually does already outline two of the players so he is able to get to second already but it's all up to if he can somehow pass Jeff or if Jeff is going to play this smart and somehow get Fox out of second. Not too sure what happened on May, I just looked over briefly and he's going backwards and back onto the box but he's going to be all the way back here for now. He's going there, but we do see Ben Lux actually still top the top three. three. Saw actually getting hit out, but uh, top two quite comfortable. That Fib not going to be connecting, but it was a good attempt from Fox. Yeah. Does Nedgen's, Nedgen's get bumped Nedgen's off? Nedgen's just wheelied off. I yeah. Think. Bit of a misplay on a uh, misjudging that. Blue is being held right now, so I don't think we're going to be seeing a very good race for May at all. Possibly just a guaranteed temp. But, I mean... That's first in the bag. If you're holding blue, I don't think there's... Shock actually does come in right at the end. I'm not too sure who that was. I don't think it would have been a Nordic Shock because they would have surely just TS Jeff on that cut instead of just going for mid-packs. But we do see two free right now. Kion is in third behind Fox. We're going to look over quickly at May. He's trying to shroom up, but I don't think it's enough. I think it's a 2 three, 4 so it's a good race for Nordic. We yeah. actually do see quite a lot of Oh, Barney, points. goodbye. Oh, Barney getting hit on the line. I think that actually would have hurt him a lot. I mean, Nordic... I think that was a bottom three. Yeah. Nordic got last, but obviously uh, Benelux got 9-8-7. Uh, so that's still not the best of running races for them, even despite the fact that uh, Jeff may have got the first place. And we'll have to wait for the bagging, but uh, at this point looks like... That's going to yeah. be... That would have been so much better, because Barney pretty much... If Barney got 7th, no, 8th, sorry, then that would have been so many points taken away. Although it is still a winning race, it's only by plus 3. If Barney was able to not get hit down 3 spots, that would have been more like a plus 11, plus 9 kind of race. So, pretty unfortunate for the side of Nordic that Barney did get a little bit screwed on the line. Uh, like people said, I did think... I thought it was going to be a BNL shock at the start, but I guess it does make more sense to be a Nordic shock because I think they just dodged their mid spots to try and get up there. But once again, we're going to see Fox and Jeff with the joint 42s. So I think Jeff uh, did beat Fox GP1, so he's holding on to that MVP. I think this is going to be his third MVP in a row if he manages to hold this, but I think he's MVP in by two points. But like we said um, at the start, these star players from both teams are hogging all the points and doing very well. We do actually have a question in the chat coming from uh, oh. <laughs> someone there. Uh, as someone who's seeing the competitive community of this game for the first time, uh, how is Funky Kong on a bike the most ideal for racing, and when was that figured out? I think it was figured out quite early on, it actually. It was very early. It was still 2008 that it was figured out. Um, mainly just because speed stats, really. So Funky Kong does have the highest speed stats out of all of the large characters. Um, you do see quite a few players actually do go towards um, the Daisy pick. There are quite a few players who play Daisy. It's not as good as Funky, just in terms of like all round. But there are quite a lot of tracks that are very good um, for that Daisy pick. So you'll see maybe if you do continue to keep watching, we do see actually quite a lot of players who pretty much play Daisy only. Um, 
like Sean just said, pretty much it's an inside drifting bike, and the Flame Runner, which they're all using as well, is the best inside drifting bike. And those Daisy players do use the Mac bike, which you'll probably see from players like Russo and Tyler and Kay. You'll, you'll see so one or two bullet bikes as well from uh, Ryu. We'll see one bullet bike. One bullet Ryu. bike. Shout out Ryu, but uh, Ryu with his unconventional. I, I think, guess bullet bike is the best. Uh, I think meta we'll, pick for we'll be seeing characters. we'll be seeing Ryu play tomorrow. I think France have got a match. A lot of matches yeah, are happening tomorrow. Um, yeah. We'll send the schedule out soon. But uh, anyway, back to Delfino Square. So. Delfino Square, one of those tracks which is very shock reliant, just because this double shortcut is it's pretty much brutal. So if you can get a very good shock on this track, it can completely sway the entire race. If you can TS people, you can TS people on the double bit, you can TS people in the mud, you can dodge on the double in a star and get a good chain. So the shock is going to be very important. We are going to be hoping for Apollo and Shamron to help out their teams with that. We actually do see a may take that dock and land straight on that fib. So uh, quite a spread out pack for that one, Delfina. We've got three or four players all the way stuck back here. Sora and May. I'm not too sure who's 9-10. Might have to wait until uh, May looks backwards. But on the other side, we do have quite a few Nordic members up here. Barney's there. Sharon's there. We do see Fox obviously himself is in fifth as bombs are getting thrown absolutely everywhere. Star in 5th though, and it's probably Star in ninth. sorry, on the side of May. And it's pretty much the best item you can get on this track, I think, for a runner. He's actually going to use it more for that schlagging style, so pretty much... Players like Dugo and May, so... Most players would just be, get a star and they'd be like, Yes, I'm going to chain this at double, get a good chain, but... May obviously does realise his position in this team is a pack player, and he did use that star straight away just to try and schlag. Um, sixth place Mega being held out for Fox, so we'll have to see what happens as we're coming into lap three. We do see uh, May actually pull some reds. He could schlag Noctal and uh, maybe try also hitting Barney in front of him if yeah. Barney Fox does get rid. Well. Okay, uh, actually, Dryzen. I'm sure he can say it's intentional just so he can target them. Oh, a cane! But... Don't do that to a cane. You can't <laughs> stop him red a cane we, three times. We can pretend it's intentional even if it wasn't, I'm sure, but... Uh, 9 10, actually... Fox has been holding this mega for a long time. He actually does get red instead of using it. Maybe he just was a little bit slow on that. Are we going to be seeing a shot come out? It doesn't look like it, so... Both of our streamers aren't looking like good spots right now. Maze all the way back in 10. Fox gets hit again. In and he's going to get a bomb in 10, um, and he's not going to be able to take this double, so he is pretty much out of the race. On the other side, we do see May able to take that double shot. He's going to be passing a lot of actual players, actually gets all the way into fourth, and we're going to get a good look at the top three right now. We do see Sharon up there. Uh, all the names are covering each other, so I'm not too sure. That's, I think that's I Apollo and Negans, yeah. I think, but uh, there goes Apollo. Yeah, Apollo's obviously bagging, so he's not going to be counting. I think Negans was up there with Sharon, though. I don't know who got first, though, and first is going to be a big um, changer in how the actual positions turn out for this race. So we'll have to see who did get first. We'll have to uh, wait. Let's have a very... We'll, we'll, we'll have a quick look at the chat after this for uh, obvious mid-race comments. But uh, mm. with three races left, do you think Nordic can come back after that top two? Uh, I, uh, I, st I think it's possible. It's just because I think Apollo is putting in the work right now. Um, we did see... I don't think... Was there a shock? Or was it very late into the race? I'm completely just blanked out. My memory's completely gone, but... <laughs> I don't think it would have been a Nordic shock, because... Nordic really didn't get anything from that, and it might have just been BNL holding it, but... Like people are saying... Although there is a lot of front running coming out from this side of Nordic... It doesn't matter at the end of the day... If you manage to get the shock... You can just completely turn around a race, so... Even though they are playing well in terms of just like front running and just being able to dominate the pack in quite a few races, it's not turning out well for Nordic in these last um, times. Did Apollo troll Barney on the line like five times? Uh, I hope not. That would be quite the troll to concede. Because I don't. I think it's minus twenty per incident, isn't it? Not per race. Uh, yes, yeah, per incident. It's I'm preaching how shock reliant this game is. We it makes me angry. Waluigi Stadium, I'm sure a few will be I mean, happy to see it, yeah. Waluigi Stadium, but uh, Benelux getting that oh, choice after 
<laughs> Reese. Flap Flaps, Bumblebee, and the crew. Um, we are actually going to be seeing top two for Ben Lux so far, so that's going to help them quite a lot. We will actually see... The Bush is very good on this track. <sighs> Similar to Peach Garden, you can pretty much take the... It's not OP, but it's quite an actual substantial mud shortcut. We're going to be seeing Fox take it here and hopefully hold his two shrooms for it next lap. Uh, he actually does use the second one just to pretty much get himself into first. Uh, depends on what he's going to do. He's got BNL behind him. Is he just going to chain his uh, shroom and play safe and get some sort of protection? Or is he going to be a little bit greedier? He's going to lose it to the power, unfortunately, either way. But we do see 2 3 4 right now um, for the side of BNL. May actually doing quite well to hop and dodge that power as well. So he's going to keep hold of his triple greens. And first and second of neck and neck is Thomas. Um, Thomas loves this track. So. He should be able to hold this first place. I think Negens also is pretty good at it. So once again, we're seeing Nordic is pretty much Fox up here fending off against a lot of BNL members. And we just need to hope that Sharon's getting the shot. The bag is positioning. We actually do have one bagger is like five, 10 seconds ahead of the other. We'll have to see. I think it is actually Apollo once again it is. So Apollo's got a very big lead on Sharon once again. So possible shock hold coming out for them again. You do see that uh, May and Sora taking up 4-5, so Benelux in quite a lot of the good spots. That blue is coming in, though. That's going to be hitting Thomas. And right. with a, with a shroom, I shroom. think With Fox, a green behind. Yeah, Fox is going to be able to take the uh, shortcut if he wishes to. I think and he should. Yeah, with Negan's behind him, it's probably the safer play to get away. Okay, Opt he's actually going to... He's going to play on the safe route. Negens actually did get a shroom anyway, so I don't think Fox is going to be able to shroom past. So they're going to be hoping for a TS or another blue shell. We'll have to see. Fox does get a little bit of a weird light. Oh, he actually... Uh, I'm not sure there what was a blue, there. but what happened was, was Sora overtook, so Benlux yeah. still in first. Is he going to be able to shroom past his red shell? He does go for the shroom, gets a red as well. Is he going to be able to get him from no, the side? No, yes! Actually and hits his Fox. trail red, and that's actually going to force the top two from BNL. And I think I agree with Fox's play just because they're down 57 with four left and they really need to start um, doing something really. So he did try and be greedy and read him from the side and maybe go inside of him, but did get trailed by Sora, did lose his guaranteed second. And that was another BNL member who was able to take it. And we are looking at most likely a BNL win at this rate. We're seeing more shocks being held. Once again, that was another shot coming in right at the end at lap four which was being held from Apollo once again. We're seeing Apollo out bag very uh, well. And even though that is a very good race. Nordic three, win four, by five, one. Six, seven. So they did get the top two with the bottom three races. So Nordic are going to get a race win. But I mean, they have two races for a 56 point lead, I think. Is it 56? Yeah. It is 56, yeah. Two races. 56 point lead you're pretty much looking at double top fours at the moment and like i said this bnl squad is looking so strong they've taken out germany they've stomped italy and now they're looking at pretty much taking a 3-0 and they are looking to go towards that first place seed so arguably bnl strongest lineup are showing that they are a dominant team to be reckoned with. I do think Nordic do have a little bit of a disadvantage just because Shamron is pretty much um, forced to bag. He's not forced to bag because he does want to learn bagging. He bags in Wii Fire League as well, but he's been doing it for one or two months max against Apollo, who I think has been bagging for a lot longer than that. So yeah. you know, definitely do have the advantage we in that side. We have to th consider the uh, positions in the groups, though, as uh, Group Y... Nordic losing this is going to put them in uh, right. quite a weak position with Germany still to play. So Nordic have that match. Not sure when it is. I'm sure we can find out uh, after. after this race. But uh, if Nordic lose this, it is all going to be down to the Germany-Nordic match and hoping that they don't slip up right. anywhere else. Yeah, we'll talk about that more in depth after the race, but we are going to be going over to Cooper Cape, which is one of the more... I don't know, it's a very like mixed track in terms of front running and dodging, because if you dodge in all of this massive grass bit, it's very good for you, but at the same time, we've seen multiple players able to just pretty much chill and get a break, as we do see this top two coming out with Sharon and Kion. 
at the moment. Golden is a very good item and Fox is most likely going to be looking at holding this until the lap 2 golden strat. Don't think there is any reason for him to use it any earlier. It's still quite a tight pack. We're looking at like 3 or 4 seconds between 1st and where Fox is back in 8th. We'll have to see if he is able to hold it though. But May at the moment is trying to contest these top two spots. Does get the third place stream, so he's going to catch up to Sharon and Kion. Is he able to get a draft and get to first? That's the question. Doesn't look like it. You know, he's got to watch out for Sharon's back spam, but uh, with these triple bananas, he can at least protect himself from anything coming from behind. Looks like the Shrimble was actually obtained from Kion. Didn't happen on our screens. I think a bit of lag must have happened. The Gumball wasn't hit, but. Uh, Definitely a Shrimba coming in, and Benlux challenging, but Nordic still right. in the better of the spots. Yeah, so we do see Sharon actually did get hit back. Thomas is able to take that second place. We've seen Kion in first for the majority of this race, and I think I can see Green's, yep, Green's coming out from uh, Thomas, and he backs both hitting Fox and also Negens, unfortunately, but Kion's still up there. We do see Thomas as well. Oh no, Kion is not up there. He did get bombed by May, as we actually saw a little bit of delay there. So Sharon once again is going to be looking at trying to hold the spots there. And he gets hit out straight away. And this is going to be a top two for the side of BNL with Fox trying to pretty much give them their last hope. Shock does come in. Who are we going to be seeing dodging? A Kane is dodging up. So that is finally a Nordic Shock, which is they're looking to get that. It just depends. They need more than first. They need like a top three or a top four. At and the moment, the spots Fox. gets redded. And uh, we are going to be seeing a lot of the uh, spots other than first going to Benelux so far. We're seeing Thomas, Sora, and May take up 2 3 4. Obviously, uh, 2 3 4 would be. Fox with a TC as well, and he can't pass it anywhere. Barney's behind him in ninth. He gets hit with a red. That's going to shock, shock him in a really weird spot as well. So he loses time in Nordic. Oh, bottom three runners. And I think this is pretty much going to look at closing up. Another shot comes in right at the end. Not too sure if that was the side of B&L. He Ooh. actually did get a... <laughs> okay. May gets the... Uh, Looks like Noctul's going start. down. Yeah, Noctul's going to be... May, May gets the uh, the cheese, as we like to call it. And Jeff got some points as well. Place. So top three Jeff coming in for Benelux. Million. And that's going to sort it. That is going to be sorting the final... Uh, and the one well, the time Nordic gets least. shock, if they have to use a lap two because they're all the way behind. B and L are in the top spots, and they just can't do it. The second shot came out at the end. I think that might have been spammed, maybe. I don't really see anyone dodging. I think they might have actually dodged Jeff, and Jeff maybe stayed in his mega on his screen, or maybe he got shocked into a box and got a mega. Can't remember entirely, but that is going to be B and L. Oh, Barney! Oh, Barney actually did get first. So. Barney, hello! I, s I swear I saw Barney in ninth at the beginning of the lap free pipe. So I'm well, not too sure how Barney's he Barney's decided there. to get first. Um, but at the same time, they barely won the race, even if they did win the race. No, they, they lost did. by five. Lost by five. And that is going to mathematically put them out of it, as you can only win a race by 51 with a top six. So we are going to be seeing BNL take their third straight win in the World Cup. And I have no idea how in the world Barney dodged up there. I, I I actually don't understand. Barney! I'm not sure if he like dolphin lagged or if he dodged up and nobody saw him but um, I swear I... Mean, I s was it just me? When, when you saw... If that's magically dolphin lag... Let me ask him in chat. I'm in chat. If him, that's dolphin me. lag I'm afraid he's getting warned for that. I'm afraid. That Barney. <laughs> was that How dolphin? Did you get first? Alright, yeah, all of VA chat is very confused if, and tagging Barney. Because I swear it, is, it wasn't just me. It wasn't just me. I did see Barney behind yeah, Fox when he had a if TC. It is man if it is deliberate manipulation of Dolphin, I'm sure something will be done there. But, it definitely uh, wasn't deliberate. I think uh, Barney's net, because we do have to remember, Barney, I think, isn't... I think something's going up with his net lately. I'm not too sure if he has it stable at the moment, so... Yeah. We're not too sure. Maybe Barney got an accidental lag up eight spots. But it's hey. getting investigated, I can tell you that much. Barney the Dinosaur hasn't been hated this much since the late 1990s. <laughs> I love Barney the Dinosaur in the late 90s. Oh, my years. When I was like two years old. Okay, so right after this match, there will be a uh, Can Mario Can we have an interview Kart with Barney match? about why he just decided to lag up eight Unfortunately, spots? we don't have the time for this, I don't God think. God damn it. Anyway, Ben is... and Temp straight away for Fox, so uh, 
the strat of going forwards a little bit and allowing your runner to hit the box in 11th slash 12th. Yeah. Did work out, it just depends. Is BNL able to read this and also go for boxes 11th? Or are they going to give Shamron all the free boxes in the world to get shot? We'll have to see. Fox going to be holding this one for as long as he humanly can until he knows shock is in play though. On the other side of the spectrum, we do have May up here in second. Kion, uh does love his coconut ball, so he's able to actually get quite a solid front run. Not going to be seeing any shrooms, probably from the top pack, so I think he should be safe for now. Fox already got his bit into 8th place, though. And, Seven. yeah, we're going to be seeing Fox with this bill. I think... Sixth already. We, we know that, uh, at this point, it is going to be down to the Germany-Nordic match for... If there's a chance for one of the higher seeded teams in the tournament to not qualify, I think, right. I think Nordic and Germany both would have had one match lost at that point. But uh, right. Germany, I think, would be on slightly better point difference. But obviously, point difference can be. Kyle's kind of nice little relaxing front run does get blown to part. Fox loses his bill in fifth. Kion gets comboed after the blue shell. What else could go wrong for Nordic? I think everything possibly that could go wrong is going wrong. May's able to get himself into a nice first. I don't think too much is going to. I mean, possibly Shamron has shot because Fox was holding Bill, but I mean, Apollo might have just got it and he might be holding it. We see the baggers are going forward, so eh, might be just rubbing salt in the wounds right now, but Blue Shell does come in, so May's not going to get his Dream 15 he was hoping for. Fox is going to be golden up at the end, but once again, this is looking like a good race for BNL. We do see May up there. He still does get the third. Sora did get the fourth. I'm not too sure what top two was, but I don't think it matters at this point. No, it won't actually matter on the final results. Some just guy spam PM me on Discord, so my dolphin went crap. My computer just shat bricks, is uh, what Barney just said. So it wasn't well, Barney jumping into first, which uh, some people might have thought. It was actually Barney deciding, oh look, my game slowed down 13 seconds while I got first. Well, I'm, I'm sure well, that, that, is that will have it. to be looked at, but... I think that's ah, corrected. Yeah, one, two, three, four, ah. nine, and ten. Barney ah. getting last there, so. so uh, Barney's points get corrected, and another top four for BNL. <laughs> and Jesus Christ, this BNL squad is scary. Yeah, I we... did not expect them to play. I mean, BNL was an average team. I played against BNL last year um, in the World Cup myself, and they weren't. They weren't really like. They were good, but they were a, pretty much an average mid-pack team who just about didn't make out of groups. And now this team is looking pretty much like finals contention. They've beat the top seed. They've... I think they've very substantially they've beat, beaten They've beat the top team. seed and the third seed, yeah. At the same time, I think that... I do think the Nordics still have a chance, because if we look at it, the only two teams who actually had a win in this group were Nordic and BNL, so BNL is going to go straight to the 3-0. They're looking pretty much guaranteed to at least get second. Most likely, they're going to be going as the group leaders, unless there's some like really unlucky thing there, that happens. There is a huge, there is a really minor chance that they'll yeah. uh, not, they're not qualify. Second, but... the, the thingy, Nordic second seed. No, they're second. 